Jet wakes up Taylor late at night and tells her that she hasn't trended in nine days. Oh my God, I didn't even do anything crazy to trend the first time. Really? Yeah, I just... J Jimmy trended today. I figured, yeah. And I probably wouldn't do what he did, but I would try to think of something to do. Yeah. So you can get that again. In the morning, TJ says he meant to complete his secret mission last night to cover all the toilet paper with peanut butter, but he waited too long. He's wasted two nights so far. The morning is quiet without Jimmy, so TTS fills the silence, both making fun of Jimmy and demanding his return and abusing Brittany for baiting him. Danye takes the show over to change the topic, but ends up arguing with Brittany. In the bunk, Duanye tells Taylor he's tired of the weird energy of Brittany, Trisha, and TJ, and says he's coming for all of them. Tay says she thinks she is being plotted against because the other fish thinks she was defending Jimmy, even though she was just in pain. In deliberate silence, Taylor packs her belongings into a makeshift satchel to carry with her around the house. Taylor suspects Trish and Brittany are going to mess with her things and accuses TJ of plotting with them because he slept in a room with them last night. She calls him a bad liar. Meanwhile, Denye starts a one-on-three argument with Brittany, Trish, and TJ. Brittany rings the bell. The audience votes that Brittany has the best insults, and he continues the three-way argument even after the beef is done. Trish dumps stuff on Denier, including milk in a plastic pot, and Brittany defaces his clothes. While Taylor rearranges her things, a TTS comes through telling her, Be ready to let go when the time comes. The phone wasn't a part of Jimmy. Your stuff isn't a part of you. Be prepared. She decides that if the other fish are coming for her stuff, she'll destroy it first. She retrieves Jimmy's acrylic paint, which he handed to her yesterday on his way out, and leaves a note on her bed that says, Come and take it. Call him a nigger. It will shut him up. He calls you guys racial slurs all the time. Here, here, You're in a self-defense situation. Take it. Y'all want it? Y'all want it? Make some balls. Make some inside of Trish purges the mattresses from the bunk. Downstairs, Taylor smears paint on a vinyl she received for Christmas and meets Trish at the stairs. Yeah. Bitch! Oh, yeah. Fucking oh, hit me! Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa! She deserved it. She didn't hit me first. She I did put her first. fucking vinyl on your face. Now, bitch, you hit her first with your weak. After talking in the basement, Trish apologizes for making the altercation physical, saying she didn't understand Taylor's intentions. Taylor apologizes for escalating, saying a recent relationship has given her bad reactions to people putting hands on her. Simon does a comedy show, and Midset warns them that a certain well-known bully will come to the tank eventually, and that people are going to get eliminated fast as conditions deteriorate. The fish were told yesterday to prepare for a comedy sketch for today. Danae's team had Trish, Taylor, and Jimmy on it, so prep is a struggle. Taylor suggests forfeiting, but they decide they can't. Trish worries that Danae will use his authority to cut her out of the winnings, but resolves to be helpful and change his mind. They decide to reenact the fight between Trish and Taylor, with the girls playing each other, and Danae playing white Danae. Dude, I don't give a damn if you're a white, your wife was fucking black, dude. I'm white. Do you not know that I fucking own the fucking country club? I will have your ass the port okay, by tomorrow. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Oh, oh hell. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay, NC. NC. <laughs> yeah. Home day to know. Home, home day to know. You are now boss nigga. Yeah. <laughs> No cure. No autism. Wait. Am I Japanese now? Oh, still three inches. Let's go. Ty's team wins, as their sketch is better rehearsed and workshopped, but Jet applauds Trish's team for tackling the difficult topic. The audience pays for a beef between Ty and Shinji. Shinji is voted best at arguing in Asian. Oh. Oh, 
mày không Một bài hát cho con đi chơi Anh con đi học nhiều mà vẫn có ơi là ngu Mày nhiều mà nhiều mà nhiều con khầy Tất cả là tác mày xấu ơi thật sợ Mày có hờ mày có hờ mày có hờ mày không thật Ô xa Stand up của mày ít mắn này rồi Single thì không có gì nữa Nè Nè Thật ra thì không có gì nữa 42歳ってボーズインなんじゃないですかチェリーボーイ OK mày tự mày sẽ thắng này à mà mày không thắng đâu thằng là thắng là thằng đầu chạp vào đó nó sẽ thắng hơn mày á mày dồn ơi là dồn cái gì mà làm không ai thích hết á mày tưởng người ta thích mày nhưng người ta không thích mày đâu người ta cho mày hút nhiều thuốc á để cho mày có non cancer xong mày chết á vậy thôi Alone in her room Trish says she wants Taylee to be gone next, but needs to build her trust first. She says she read the beef challenges over Jet's shoulder and won't ring the bell again anymore as a result. Oliver, a freeloader from Christchurch, New Zealand, arrives. True to form, Trish laughs at everything he says. Brittany meets Oliver, then cries in her room saying she hates men and feels like she does everything wrong. A TTS tells her Jimmy should have finished the job, and she says, I know. Vance comes and gives her the shut up fish toy. TJ tries to comfort her and also gets a shut up fish toy. When Brittany gets up, she writes a series of notes to Trish and the camera saying, why is Trish being a whore? Imagine not learning from your mistake, dripping over a dude wearing black air forces and warns her to stop flirting. When she can speak, she says she hates straight white men and wants to punch Oliver in the face. Oliver and Brittany are taken aside by Jet. She says Trish was acting annoying around Oliver and says she has more dignity than that. Oliver wonders why that was a reason for Brittany to be rude to him. And she says she's just being a bitch today because she feels like it. During a forced date with Trish, Brittany says again that she just feels like being a bitch. And Trish says that's valid. Brittany thinks Taylee doesn't like her because Taylee has concluded that Brittany is an actor. Trish tells Brittany she doesn't think Taylee's apology for punching Trish was sincere. Brittany says Tay's apology for empathizing with Jimmy wasn't sincere either. Brittany suggests Taylee probably wanted Trish to hit her. She says she doesn't understand how Taylee could ever have related to Jimmy and hates her if she does. Brittany says she knows for sure that Taylee has the golden beetle because her disability was easy. And Trish agrees Taylee is benefiting from favoritism. They call Taylee ugly. And Trish says Taylee is an audience favorite because she has an air quote, good personality. Trish admits to Brittany that she worries when she meets freeloaders because they're there to fuck with her. She also says she puts too much trust in people. This conversation right now proves Taylee right. Good job. Oliver has been pressing TJ for chips all the evening and finally rings the bell on TJ even though he doesn't know what it does. Hey, friend, TJ. No! No! I can't wait so we can be best friends. Oh, God. No! I'm oh, breaking my toy! You're not even retarded. I'm really retarded. No! 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 Give me my toy! Give me my toy! I'm actually retarded. You're just mad. While TJ competes to be the biggest retard, he swipes peanut butter on the toilet rolls as he was asked. To be a retard, Oliver asks Trish to date and marry him, loses the challenge, and spends the night in the doghouse. The constant rain causes the basement to flood and production emerges from the basement frequently overnight while resolving the issue. 